All right, so this um, um, video is on point gradient form. So essentially we're gonna use point gradient um, form. Uh, that is wrong. We're gonna formula, formula to answer linear equations. Now, this is a very, very important formula. It is not in our formula sheet, but whenever they ask you to form an equation, and you've got a point, and you've got the ability to find the gradient, we'll need to use this one, okay? So what is it? Well, here it is, okay? Point gradient form formula. I'm gonna form. Point gradient formula is the one I've just highlighted there, okay? Really, really important. Y minus Y1 is equal to M bracket X minus X1, where M is the gradient, just like before, okay? And um, Y1 and X1 are just a point. So a point X1, Y1, okay? Now, some people have asked this, what is X and Y? Well, X and Y just stay X and Y. So we'll see that as we do this example. All right, so here's a really good telltale sign that we need to use point gradient form. Um, right here it says find the equation of the line, okay? Nine out of 10 times, maybe 99 out of 100 times, it means that we need to use this formula. So what we need, once that question says we stop and we dump this in our, we dump the formula in our, and we start working out the the question, all right? So y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. All right, so what do we need for this formula? Well, we need a point, and we've got a point here, and we need a gradient. Now, in this first part, it says, what is parallel to 2x minus 4? Well, if it's parallel, it must have the same gradient, all right? So let's start adding, answering that. I'm going to put a line here because we will probably go through it. So I'll write my answers in blue. So let's put sub it in. Y minus, well, what's Y1? Well, let's use this. X1, Y1, that's our point. So Y1 will be 2, won't it? So 2 equals, what's our gradient? Well, if it's parallel to 2X, and that's a gradient of that, so it must be 2. X minus X1 is just 3, 3, and now we just answer the question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in um, point gradient form and another answer, I'm going to put it in general form so we've got both answers. So we just use algebra, so there's going to be 2X minus 6. So I'm going to put it in gradient form, I'm going to leave the Y by itself, um, plus 2, plus 2, so you've got 2x minus 4, and that's in point gradient. Form, all right. Part 2, I mean, let's do it in general form. So in general form, I need to make everything equal to 0, so I'm going to move this up there, so I'm going to get equals 0, so I'm going to move the y across. So you get 0, 2x minus y minus 4, and that's general form. All right. And there could be questions that ask you in general form or point gradient form. Um, it will depend on the question. Okay, so just could be comfortable in moving them in either one. One thing about general form, it has to be whole numbers. You can't have fractions. If you've got fractions, multiply by the highest common factor in the denominator. Okay, look at questions to help you with this. Okay, now part two was that we want to find something perpendicular actually to the same equation that we had up here. All right, so if it's perpendicular, that means that it's going to be the negative reciprocal of two. So the negative reciprocal of two is that, I'm going to call this M2, so it's just a different gradient, is going to be negative 1 over 2, because our original gradient was 2, 
So the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2. Negative reciprocal means that I need to put the negative here. Okay? So once it says perpendicular, we're thinking negative reciprocal. Perpendicular, negative reciprocal. And then we just substitute it into our formula again. Um, so I'm going to put the formula in red. Y minus Y1 equals M x minus x1 it still goes through that point the only thing different is the gradient so let's do that y minus 2 equals what's our gradient minus a half x minus 3 okay let's do some adjusting there oh i got to put the brackets there let's do something y minus 2 ski jump and it's going to minus x on 2 plus 3 on 2. Now, here's a situation where in point gradient form it will be a problem. I mean, in general form it will be a problem, but let's put it in, um, in point gradient form first. So I'm going to go y equals minus x on 2 plus 3 on 2 plus, and I'm going to do this 4 on 2. So what I've done is I've changed this, my, this 2 to 4 on 2 so I can play with this guy. Okay. If you've got further questions with that, please ask. So minus x on 2, so that's going to be plus 7 on 2. All right. So we can easily see that this is in point gradient form. Um, we have a gradient. If I change it, I can go minus a half x plus... Um, how many times? That goes three and a half, okay? So what's our gradient? Well, it's negative a half. What's our y-intercept? Three on two, okay? But let's do it in general form. The first thing we need to do is get rid of the fractions. So I'm going to go back to this guy, okay? And I'm going to multiply everything by two so I can get rid of the denominators. I want to get rid of these denominators. So I'm going to multiply everything by two. So I've got... 2, so I'm just going to do that as a different question almost. y equals minus x plus 7. All right. Now I'm almost ready to put it in general form, but I'm going to move this x across because I want a positive coefficient of x. So I'm moving it across to the other side. So therefore, I'm moving the 7 across as well. So therefore, it will be x plus 2y minus 7 equals 0, and that's in general form. Okay, so that's the lesson. Peace.